This video shows how to draw an irregular polygon using GeoGebra and then how to display the size of the interior or internal angles. I'm using GeoGebra 5 but most of what I'm going to do works in other versions of GeoGebra as well. Uh, first of all when you open up the graphics display it probably looks a bit like this with the axes and the grids on it. Since we're going to be using geometry we don't need those features so to remove them right click and then you'll see the axes and grid are both highlighted here. If I remove first axes and then grid, I've got a clean canvas to draw on. That works exactly the same if you're using the web-based classic version as well. OK, um, now I'm going to draw my polygon. If I go up to the tools along the top, this is the polygon tool and I want to choose polygon. Make sure you do choose polygon, not regular or rigid polygon. Um, we'll click on that and I'm going to draw a pentagon, a five-sided shape. So I'll click five times once for each of the points and I'm going to click in an anti-clockwise or counterclockwise direction this way around. That's quite important. I'll tell you why a little bit later on in this video. Um, so first of all, I'm going to click for the first point, let go of the mouse, move to the second point and let go, click, fourth point and the fifth point. And then to finish, I move back to my first point there, point A. If you're not getting straight lines, if you're, once well, you drag, you get a curved line up here, uh, it's because you haven't let go of your mouse button. So you make sure you do that. It's a common mistake to make. Okay, now we have our polygon. Uh, it's an irregular polygon. We're going to put the angles on it. So this is our angle tool here. Click on the angle tool and just select angle. And then inside the polygon, we can click there and we'll get the angles appear. And all five angles are now shown. If you drew your polygon clockwise rather than counterclockwise, the angles will appear on the outside of the polygon. So that's why if you get that problem, if you get the angles on the outside here, uh, it's because you drew your polygon in a clockwise direction rather than an anti-clockwise direction. Um, you can move some of these values. If you go to the Move tool, you can click and drag and you can get the text appearing on the, oops, I'm picking up the whole polygon there, um, clearly on the inside. And if you want to change the precision, so at the moment we've got two decimal places. Now, this is in a slightly different place on different versions of GeoGebra, but on the version I'm using, it's under Options, Rounding, and I can go to zero decimal places, and I'll get the angles given to the nearest whole number. 